Welcome back to the Alexi Seminoles Garage. Tonight, I'm here with Jose Mercado of Merc Racing, and he's brought his MRA 1900 upgraded supercharger for the three liter supercharged engine found in your Audi. Tonight, we've got it broken down on the table, and he's gonna explain all the different parts of it. So if that's something you wanna know about, stick around. All right, Jose, welcome to the Alexi Seminoles Garage. It's Awesome to have you here finally. You know, Same it's here, been man. many years trying to get you here. I've gotten to go to your home a couple times, yeah. so welcome. Uh, thank you for bringing the MRA 1900. I'm so excited to get this installed on the car and start testing with you. So obviously we have it broken down and I know everybody's really excited to learn what comprises an MRA 1900. So you wanna just jump into it and we'll start with absolutely, the- uh, Absolutely, absolutely, uh, Cameron. Thank you for having me here. Uh, thank you for the opportunity as well. I. I I'm stoked to be here. Seriously, <laughs> uh, it's, it's the first time I get to do something like this, and thank you for yeah, allowing man. this to, to make I'm, it possible. I'm as stoked as you are. I yeah, mean, this, yeah. This, so. this is, is going to educate a lot of people, even, even myself, because I'll go back and watch myself explaining it, because <laughs> even I forget something sometimes. I understand that. But, completely. yeah, I, I mean, the goal here is to show everyone, you know, what is the Merc Racing uh, Audi Supercharger Kit, uh, what makes it so special, and, you know, Honestly, what makes it so special is this unit right here. Mm -hmm. This is where the, the heart of it. And this is a 1.9 liter supercharger kit where the OEM unit is only a 1.3 liter, 1320, as yep. we call it. This is um, a TVS 1900? A TVS 1900, that's okay. correct. And uh, actually the OE is a TVS as well, but a lot of people refer to it as a roots blower, mm -hmm. um, which is still okay, but I, I like to call it what it is, which is a TVS blower. Okay. Um, the unit is made by Harrop. Uh, they make an excellent unit. I've been using them for many years. I love how compact, how well and refined their unit is. They're phenomenal. I, I, I think in the many years I've been with them, I've had only a couple of units have issues okay. and it have been from shipping. Yeah. So, and that, that costs one of the bearings to go bad. But and a they, lot of our Audi community doesn't realize, I think, that you got your start with Honda Supercharger. That's uh, right. So that's you have right. a lot of experience with these mm -hmm. superchargers This in is general. nothing new to me. Yeah, this is nothing new to you, but it's new to the Audi community. You're just applying that knowledge that you've had for years working mm -hmm. in the Honda community mm -hmm. and now bringing it here. So that's, right. that's exciting stuff. Yeah, we, we've gone from the little 900 blower to as big as a 2300 blower. <laughs> and all making all crazy power on the awesome. four-cylinder engines. So anyway, so yeah, this is a 1.9 liter blower. The one difference you're gonna notice here, people that know these blowers, uh, we work with Harrop to make this a custom blower, not only the snout size here, but then the bypass elimination since the Audi cars run in an electronic bypass. Mm -hmm. So they cap that for us, they seal it up really nicely, so it's... So all, does that mean we're not using the OEM bypass valve at uh, all? We're using the OEM bypass, mm -hmm. uh, we're not using the uh, vacuum actuated uh, bypass okay. that normally comes on these. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay, gotcha. So, okay. That made the package, as you can tell, very narrow, yep. very slim, which is perfect. Fantastic. Um, <clears throat> well, that's, you know, that's all I gotta say about the blower. Uh, they're reliable, they're great. Um, Paired to the blower now, um, so I'm gonna start in the front yeah, let's here. let's start with the front, because this is exciting, because this has just kind of come to here mm -hmm. in the past couple weeks, right? That's right, so at first I was gonna go with standard aluminum or stainless steel pulleys, um, and seeing the type of loads and the RPM that these motors run and the load that this will cost, I knew that we were gonna have belt slip issues, okay. given how the OEM belt routing is. Oh yeah. Uh, and actually on our initial testing, working with uh, OE 034, we found that there was some belt slip Issues, okay. and we quickly addressed it with the help of grip tech uh cp grip tech pulleys yes yeah, so, so they this, built a custom sized pulley for this right mm -hmm. so yeah these are available only from us uh they, they're kind enough to make this design for us and make it available so and this comes standard with the order it. and this will come without orders yep. the base pulley the base pulley that's going to come with these kits is a three inch pulley okay uh, i forget what millimeters that uh, attributes to but you can Google it, 70, whatever it may be. <laughs> I think it's like around 72 or 73. Maybe, so, maybe more, I don't know. Yeah, you're close to yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 72, 73. But yeah, it's way bigger than OE, which means we're not pushing this blower as much as people are doing with a 1320. Not so there, there's it room. All. There's room to go. Um, so what's so special about this pulley? I don't know if we can see it on the camera, but yep. Griptech uh, makes these pulleys that have a specific, uh, almost like a laser etching on the pulley, but it's tiny little grooves that allow the belt to grip really nicely mm -hmm. and not slip yep. uh, easily on the belt. And it, it makes a difference. I know they work on the 1320s. People, you know, obviously swear by them and mm. they make a big difference for sure. Yeah. 
But in the 32 inch, it's very complicated to do. Yeah. That being said, yeah, this thing just bolts on. It's not a four press little, but yeah, no press fitting. It's, just it's just like the 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 crack engines, the CRC, the the ones that come in the uh, facelift A6 A7s. Mm. Uh, so it's going to be a lot easier than the press fit. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, easy fit, and then obviously we have smaller sizes available for when the time comes and more fueling is available and people can run more boost, um, which we have tested. Uh, slightly and 034 has commenced the uh, you know is working through it um, yeah. but you know going with more boost and so on yeah so well cool that's exciting <clears throat> all right so all right we'll move over to accessories I guess is what we would call this section mm -hmm. so let's just start with the coolant hoses we're gonna wait. okay so the coolant hoses are preformed coolant hoses that are gonna come with the kit so no brass fittings no you know seven eight little <laughs> brass oh, elbows yeah. everywhere and all that this literally just plugs into the blower like so after you install it and it's that simple it's just secured by yeah. one clamps on there yeah put a you could do the the metal clamps uh i forgot what it called uh, the crimp clamps yeah, yeah, yeah or you could do warm work. clamps which work yep. really well okay uh something i haven't mentioned to anybody yet but one of the preparations on this kit is uh the ability to do one inch hoses uh, it is something I'm working towards to where we can use a bigger pump okay. uh, that has a one inch uh, outlets and inlets on it. And it's a lot of flow. And yeah, well, and it needs it, right? Because yep. we're in the OE scenario, actually, if I may point to your yeah, car absolutely. real quick, um, we're taking a three quarter inch hose and then trying to feed two other hoses, which is the, the amount of water flow needed is not equal to that. Yeah. We're underfeeding these, as a matter of fact. Yep. So I'm trying to solve that with our kit by, you know, later in the future as we improve performance and do more things with it, we properly feed the two hoses with a larger diameter and more water flow. Fantastic. Uh, the kit will come with a adapter to allow you to connect to your standard water lines in OE setup. Okay. But later on, as things, you know, progress and you want to do more, you can just upgrade to one-inch water yeah. lines. And I and imagine a lot of people that are running this are probably like me, probably already have their supercharger divorce, running larger lines, more than likely right. trying to get every ounce of cooling that they can. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they'll probably be pretty well set up for it, but having the option to run the OEM setup as right. well. So, right, right. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. That's that's smart thing. Mm -hmm. the, the, the other hose is the same thing, just plugs in there. Uh, and I'm mean, a little bit at that. I mean, it's just another line does the same thing. One inch uh, return as well. Okay. And we'll get to the rest of the actual supercharger body in a moment because mm -hmm. there's some really cool things over here. But let's go back over here real fast. So tell me about the throttle body. What is it designed for? What fits? What are the options? Let's start mm -hmm. there. All right. I'm going to flip the blower around if okay. you don't yeah, mind. Get all the just way. to show you this a little better. All right. The <clears throat> the blower is uh, obviously rather large, and we can accommodate throttle bodies as large as 90 mil just on our setup. Um, everything, yeah, every, it's massive. <laughs> yeah. No porting needed. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, a lot of people like to pour it and this that. We, we, we try to use every millimeter that we could to make yeah. sure that all the flow is available to the blower according to what's available today All out right. there. Um, the supercharger comes prepared to be installed with an upgraded throttle body, not the OEM throttle body. Because okay. why would you buy all this and put a little tiny restrictor put on it? Put a giant restriction on it, yeah. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. So definitely buy yourself a 034. Uh, yeah, or that's the 034 Super Duper 84 mm -hmm. millimeter, but the same footprint accommodates the Continental 80 millimeter throttle bodies. That's as well. right. That's right. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's look at that adapter real quick. So the adapter um, it shows an O ring groove in there. It's not going to have it in there because uh, the upgraded throttle body does come with one. Okay. But just in case in the future something comes up and it needs an O ring, okay. we have the appropriation there for okay. it. So, but it seals properly with the provided right. O ring. So that adapter seals there. Yep, and then with the bolts in place, I don't have them with me right now, but this right. will just mount in here like so. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And what's nice about it, for the most part, we're thinking that your current intakes should work. We'll validate that. We'll validate like validate it later on, but yeah. we're confident that it, it will work just fine. They just might need um, to get some kind of an adapter to connect to whatever throttle. Well, if they're running this throttle body already, it should be good it to should, go. Yeah, it should work. So that's yeah. what you're saying. If they already have whatever throttle body they're using on their car now, mm -hmm. Or if they're upgrading the throttle body and they get the intake kit for that throttle body, 
this should mount in the car Unless, almost, almost OE mm -hmm. to where that threat intake should sit almost exactly the same spot right. that it does currently. Right. So some minor, some with that throttle body, some ex ex exceptions might be where if I may grab something yeah. real quick. Uh, for example, this type of intake that came with the 034 for that throttle body mm -hmm. may not work because it's a bit short because there is a casting that that's, extends. Yeah, that's right. They have the noodle to, yeah. to adapt because it has to clear the timing chain covers. Mm -hmm. and, and, yep. So we may need to do something which uh, Cameron later is going to cover, cover for you guys later on on how to make uh, a simple intake work yep. for the setup uh, if your setup doesn't work out. There you go. All right, so coming back over here. So that's the adapter for... The upgraded throttle body. Mm -hmm. So, what is this one here? This here, I don't know what to call it. It's the OE it's throttle body adapter. Um, at first, we're going to provide the kit with it, but after testing and so on, it's just too restrictive. You're limiting yeah. your power, limiting your 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 available output. But just in case someone wants one, it's an option that they it, can buy. It's an option they can buy. It's not going to come with a kit because it, otherwise, it's just wasted money, wasted expenses that don't need to be taken Wasting place. performance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Um, and I think th that's as far as I, I need to go with that. And again, both the kit actually will come all together pre-installed with everything except the throttle body in place. Okay. Um, everything is all ranked. No need to do any liquid gaskets and so on. Mm -hmm. And should be Fairly straightforward to set up. Fantastic. All right. All right. So we're going to move over to the actual body of the supercharger. And yeah, let's get the hoses off real quick. This thing is lit like literally a work of art. This is one of the best <laughs> things, the best looking things I've ever seen. I mean, this Thank thing you. is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Um, I love, I remember when you posted the teasers of the red uh, when you first got that back and mm -hmm. the community just blew up. It just looked so amazing. And obviously you've yeah. seen the pictures of the uh, top hat from, from Alex Dixon's car, right? Mm -hmm. That he got the gold and that looks incredible. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just talk about the design real quick and then we'll, we'll go a little bit further into it. So I'll hand it back over to you. All right. So yeah, um, one of the key elements to this design or is to take advantage of every square inch or <laughs> millimeter in this case, or slice of paper yeah. <laughs> that, that we can use uh, out of the space available on, on that engine bay. Uh, we have to clear sensors in the corners. We have to clear castings in the engine heads. Uh, we had to clear all various objects and allow for custom map sensors. So that was, it was a challenge. Yeah. But after many variations and a lot of hard work from our CAD designer and engineer uh, on this project, um, we made it happen. So everything bolts awesome. right on and everything clears. You don't need to modify your car. That's fantastic. So so I don't need to put washers on my hood latch? No, <laughs> no, no washers. No, no. Hood. No, I mean, it's going to be very, very close. Yeah. Um, we thought we were going to need to use um, billet engine mounts. Oh. Uh, and based on what we saw so far, when my car was running, I did not need to use the billet. Okay. Uh, it's not the OE mounts. Yep. But we were using the uh, 034 uh, yeah. harder rubber. Yeah, and that's mounts what I have on my car. Yeah, so. the engine will sit proud when you first install those mounts, so you got to allow it a little time for the to mounts settle. to settle, okay. and everything will clear just fine. Gotcha. Um, so going back yeah. to the blower, uh, something very cool about the water lines we were talking about earlier, the bleeders normally are in the back and make a mess and so on. And, and it's hard to, you know, all they do is make a, a cool and mess in the back. Yep. They're going to be in the front now. Uh, they got this really cool bleeder uh, in the front. The all you do is... Is it a straighter valve? I, like, is that what it's called? <laughs> do, you, is it, do you just kind of push it? No, no, uh, no. It's a, it's a twist. Oh, you, okay. you open it up, and you're going to see the air bubbles come through. You're done. You just close it like uh, so. That's so much nicer. And you're done. So no more breaking off bleed screws in the intercooler core because that's, that's right. not even a part of the intercooler that's core. That's right. It's part of the, the cast, the, right. the, the body itself. So yeah. real quick before we dive into this, mm -hmm. you, you briefly mentioned the map sensors. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's talk about it. They're not going to... I know originally you talked about you'd use them you know, with OEM map sensors at first, then when you started to push your power, you need to go up to better map sensors. But in doing the testing with 034, we found that that's just useless with the OEM one. Exactly. So it's going to come with three bar map sensors? It's going to go come with three Bosch three bar map sensors, uh, which are one nice thing about them is if something goes wrong, you can easily go to FCP Euro, pick a pair up, and you're good to go. No need to worry about being custom made mm -hmm. or out of stock or no one makes them anymore. So we yep. are using OE components for this purpose. Fantastic. Um, there is provision for OE map sensors, but after doing tuning and testing, it was 
It's not needed. Yeah. We're going to be exceeding the the, the almost immediately. As yeah. Soon as you start tuning, yeah. And again, we're upgrading for performance, not to keep the OE power. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it just doesn't. It makes sense to go ahead and upgrade them. But yeah, they'll come. We're going to send them with the kit, uh, all ready to go. So real quick, mm -hmm. the back that looks very reminiscent of the OE bypass valve. That's correct. Okay. So this is where we're discussing earlier how the blower is capped for you know for, away from having the. Uh, vacuum actuator yep we're going to reuse the oem uh, bypass system which is electronic and nothing needs to change there it'll bolt right on i don't have a spare unit with me yeah but literally just going to sit on top of the um oops Th this will be right here and yep. the bypass unit will be right on top of it perfect and it, it, you don't need to extend harnesses you don't need to worry about uh, cutting wires to make it work it's just going to fit just right gonna fit. Mm -hmm. you're awesome. just going to clip right on all right, well then let's get this thing turned back to the side and open this up because I'm excited for people to see this. This is just, this goes along with it just being a work of art. So. Come on, you, 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 you oh, like, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, like yeah. this or what? I, I, I do love this. <laughs> so each, each one of the units will come with this plaque. We put a little serial number there for, uh, a you know. I have to say I'm extremely the number one. Uh, number Even one. I am. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> you didn't say number one for you. Like, you know, I, I got to make my customers happy, that's man. True, that's true. Right. But hey, I'm happy to have number two. So, <laughs> so. Um, all right. Yeah, let's open this up and show them the intercooler course because this is just mm -hmm. beautiful. Don't, and a lot of people always wanted to see under the plate. Yep. I forgot about this. So this is, whoop, this is what it looks like under the plate. Uh, for those that are curious, and sorry for my fingerprints, but <laughs> these are safety uh, plugs, you know, in case some of the bolts come loose or something. Okay. Somehow, which has not happened, um, you know, it keeps them in place from coming off. Okay. Uh, as a safety measure. And that's the end of that. All right. Cool. Set that off. Yeah. Check this out, guys. So, Jose, you have made each of these by hand, right? These, that's these right. Are I all made this by myself, you yeah. at home. Like these are made to order intercooler cores for this supercharger. Correct. Yeah. This, this is not a, you know, factory fabricated pieces. You know, the first question is going to be, right? What? Can you make one for my 1320? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> if I hear that question one more time. <laughs> no, right, no, so, I so wish I, I, we're working on that. Actually, I, I, I'm talking to a couple of oh, my cat person. And that's helping me with that. And I also have one more company that was interested in helping me out. I'm waiting for quotes from them as well right. to see what they, uh, who wins that, that, we'll that, that case. All but right. anyway, so talk, um, talk to me about the, the intercooler core. Then we'll grab the other one and kind of show them how mm -hmm. it goes in. Yeah, no, it, very simple. As you saw, the cover you know, goes on top. The air flows this way. It goes right into the cores. Mm -hmm. uh, they are three-inch uh, deep um, cores and they do a good job i mean uh, right now they're being track tested by 034 uh you know i day 100 percent better than we know but i day because of the efficiency of the blower the efficiency of the blower we're finding that the cores are more than sufficient for the three inch setup we're not we maxing have. out the blower so we're not going with crazy high mm -hmm. IATs. so it's just an overall way more efficient system to begin with. exactly and and we're you know and to be honest we're limited by the size of available space yep. uh, and no matter what so um we're working on a possible version two of the course okay. uh it's not something that's happening anytime soon but we're working on it, it takes a few months to go through that process okay. uh if that comes through you'll know about it and we'll let you know but as of right now this is what's available it works really well okay you want to grab and the other one and show them how yeah. it installs and secures because there's obviously nothing you know inherent to like there's not like the 1320 we're like oh i can see the end of the core in the mm -hmm. supercharger so yeah no like no outside. no more use of a hammer and a piece of block of wood to get, get that was off. a genius <laughs> trick by myself that has saved countless people a lot of time uh but yeah no the cores are very straightforward they have o-rings in the front here that okay. seal against the the manifold itself so it's just a drop in mm -hmm. and then so once you drop it in actually before i put it down yep. i want to show them uh, something that Many people haven't seen. We came up with, we went with this design to avoid the need of rubber seals and things gotcha. like that to block the air. This core sits on this lip That's that awesome. will create a seal where it will disallow 
any hot air to escape through the that's core. That's fantastic. I even go as far as welding the edges here, mm -hmm. <laughs> just to even that, that little minute piece of air to, from escaping through, but maybe being a little picky, but I'm taking the time to do that for you guys. So once it's dropped yeah. in, how mm -hmm. does it actually secure? Because that just seems like it's just floating in there right now. Oh my God, that's the hardest. Yeah. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> so yeah, to secure it's super easy. Uh, we got the three bolts here in the front that will pull the core forward. You always want to do those first. Mm -hmm. And then you'll do this in sequence, uh, you know, from center to the outside. Now, will there be um, any kind of a gasket underneath the slip or is it just not metal? Need, not needed, okay. yeah, not needed. Uh, there's just, there's, there's enough uh, surface area gotcha. in tightness that okay. you really don't, the air is gonna find itself where it needs to go, yeah. uh, which is the, the easiest way out, which is through the core. All right. Uh, yeah, so yeah, no need for rubber seals. Uh, that saves us a lot of time and a lot of uh, headaches with, with trying to deal with that. Um, one thing I'm missing here, I forgot to add it here. Okay. It's, uh, there is an O-ring groove here that comes pre-installed. Okay. So an O-ring goes through this whole entire edge. That's already what seals the top hat too. And, yeah, and when the yep. top goes on, it will just, just seal that up for you guys. Perfect. Uh, I want to show the bottom of it. Oh yeah, let's flip that over and see. So yeah, the cores are loose, so I don't want to drop yeah. them, but, but this is what it looks like, guys. I mean, it's probably common sense, but I figure some people want to see it. Yeah, that's that just looks so good. Everything about it looks just so well designed, so well thought out, mm -hmm. especially from like the revision, which I... 034 has the prototype. Mm -hmm. This is the first production. That's right. Well, this he, he, is technically the second production one, but this is the full production. Yeah. Because like even down to this, you guys see this little indentation here. They found out that, and we'll run over here to my spare engine, that on the engine, these nubs were hitting the prototype and they had to shave those down on the engine that they get put on. And so that's when Jose did mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the final marketable revision. They redesigned that to where there's perfect clearance, so you don't have to do anything. You don't have to shave anything, modify nope. anything. It just mm -mm. It is a direct bolt-on kit. Bolt-on. That's it. Well, that's awesome. Jose, is there mm -hmm. anything else you want to tell the people about this kit? Uh, honestly, um, I mean, they're going to start asking once they see this video, well, what are numbers, what are numbers? And that's what we're going to be working for. We're going to put this on yeah. here. We're going to do mm -hmm. testing. Zero three four is doing testing, and we're going to hammer out the tune and eventually see what we get, not only in terms of horsepower, but quarter mile times mm -hmm. and IATs and logs. So there's exactly. a lot of information coming. Mm -hmm. That's correct, that's correct. Yep. So, but anything um, else besides that, the obvious question. I, honestly. Oh, you wanna talk about the belt? I, it's no, not a special belt, it's just a regular belt you can go a, buy replacements for, right? Yeah, I, I'm, that's another thing we, we made sure we did is that we use belts that are available. Uh, currently, they're only made in, in an A-rib mm -hmm. version, so you do have to remove one of the ribs out okay. um, because there's no seven, count rib available that matches yep. the length that we need at least on a, at least on an hd belt which is what we prefer to use gotcha. uh you know you need a good belt to run something like this it yep. just makes sense yep absolutely um uh what else i want i wanted to add something else and i can't remember now camera i anyway the kit itself uh like i say is it's very easy to install i don't i, I really when you look at this right now um it may look complicated, but it's not. The mm -hmm. kit comes pre-assembled. The only thing you have to do when you get this kit is remove the cores out of the top in the top cover. Mm -hmm. Put everything, put the, install the blower on top of your Which motor. we're going to have a full DIY video. That's, That's why you're right. here this weekend. We're filming the DIY video so people can look at mm -hmm. that and know exactly what they're getting into and know what to do when they get it themselves. Exactly. And then literally drop the blower on, start connecting clips. Uh, you know, set up your, your throttle body and go literally put the top on and get, yeah, go to town. So we're trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys. It is not a hard install. Uh, it's one question that has come up. Some people are kind of like, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a natural question, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. well, cool. Well, Jose, awesome. Thank you for going over this. Uh, obviously super excited to uh, get rid of that thing <laughs> and replace it with that thing. I, I'm so, so, so excited. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Guys, that's a quick rundown of the MRA 1900 and MRA 1900 that stands for Merc Racing Audi 1900 because he already has an MR 1900, which is a Honda supercharger in case you guys were wondering. But uh, we are gonna get things lined up and get this installed this weekend and bring you that DIY video. But as always, if you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below and we'll see you guys on the next video.